Hi guys, welcome to JVN Testing Tutorials. Today I am manual testing day 15 theory session. In the last class what we have seen? We have seen about regression testing and retesting. Types of regression testing we have seen. How we do regression testing we have seen. What are the procedure of the steps to do regression testing. When we go for regression testing these are all steps we have seen right. Difference between regression testing and difference between uh, regression testing and retesting we have seen, right? It is one of the functional system testing type, right? So let's see today's topic about fifth, sixth, and seventh types of functional system testing. That is database testing, data validation testing, data integrity testing, and data volume testing. Okay, these are the types of functional system testing, right? Already we have completed first smoke testing. First type of C. Let's see, see in the previous classes we have discussed about the smoke testing. Right, see here functional system testing. Right, first smoke testing is completed. Second positive or negative testing is also completed. Retesting completed. Regression testing is completed. Till now four types completed. Right, four types of functional system testing completed. Now let's see today's topic. 5th type database testing, 6th type data validation testing, 7th type data integrity testing, 8th type data volume testing. Okay, let's see today's topic about these 4 types database, data validation, data integrity and data volume testing. Okay, let's see now what is database testing. See here, what is database testing? What is meant by database? Actually, what is meant by database? The data will be stored in the back end. Okay. The data which is stored in the form of Excel or it will be stored in the table format that is called database. Whenever we are using one of the software application, like example Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, any of the software application, whenever we are using, we have to first sign up, right? Sign up. We have to detail all the enter our data like first name user uh, username email id mobile number password gender like this we have to enter now so that is called data so for that type of testing we have to test with database testing okay for data also we need to test okay let's see how we can test that okay let's see first database testing so what is mean by database testing it is a backend software application or collection of data. Okay, what is database testing? It is a backend of software application or collection of data. So, collecting of data that is called database testing. Okay, whenever we are entering the data in the front end, that data will be stored in backend. Okay, takes uh, whenever we are entering the data in the front end means whenever we are entering the data in the sign up page any of the software application like facebook instagram whatsapp email youtube any of the software will kalyan matrimony application aps rtc ts rtc applications uh, like uh, ola ola application rapid application zomato application we are sign up, uh, we have to sign up right first we have to register in that after register only we can log in that application so so whenever we are entering the data in the front end, front end means we are sign up page, front end means sign up page, that data will be stored in the back end, okay, that data will be stored in the back end means owner of the uh, software application, they, they will maintain the one excel sheet or any document, any table that excel sheet, they will maintain, so all the members who are logging that software application, all the members data will be visible in that excel sheet so that is called database testing okay for example sign up of facebook instagram or registration that will be given a mail id email id mobile number username so this all data will be stored in the back end okay see here so this is a facebook application so uh, this is a sign up module right so Whenever we are creating the Facebook application, software application, whenever we create, we are creating the Facebook software application, we have to first sign up, right? We have to give all this detail, this first, first name detail, surname detail, mobile number or email address, enter new password, date of birth detail. This date of birth also we have to enter, this gender like female, male or custom, any of the option we can select, okay? 
so this all data will be stored in the back end okay that is called database testing okay and practically i will see uh, I, will, I will explain this how to test the database how to test the data validation how to test the data integrity and how to test the data volume testing in practically i will explain okay let's see here next what is data validation testing okay what is data validation testing validating whether the new inserted data is correct or not okay validating whether the new inserted data is correct or not we have to check or we have to validate that data so for example this facebook application is there so i am the customer uh, i am the user i am the end user see example i am the end user so i need a facebook uh, login page i need a facebook account okay i need a facebook account so i have to sign up right so whenever we are signing we i have to enter the first name so i have to enter the first name that jvn my surname is testing tutorials okay testing tutorial so i have to enter the mobile number so so this is my mobile number then i have to enter the password okay i have to enter the password so i have to select my, uh, my date of birth okay i have to select my date of birth so next i have to select my gender okay whether the male or female uh -huh. i have to select so whenever the end user enter these details it will be stored in the backup okay after sign after click on sign in sign up button this this all data will be stored in the for uh, will be stored in the one excel sheet or one type of table format okay see here that back end the data will be stored in table format okay this table format so i have entered the first name now so first name what I have entered the first name jvn so it uh, uh, after signing it will be reflect in this table like jvn next i have entered the surname what i have entered the surname testing tutorials see here testing tutorials next mobile number next date of birth what I have selected the date of 6th August 2006 okay 6th August 2006 next password okay like this next gender okay like this after click on sign up button this data will be visible in the table format so we have to check or we have to validate this data whether the person is enter the correct data or not okay whether the person is inserted data is correct or not we have to validate that is only called data validation testing okay next let's see what is data integrity let's see what is data integrity data integrity means validating the existing data modification okay validating the existing data modification so what is mean by existing data modification we have we should validate existing data completely replaced or modified with new data means take for example in take this uh, facebook application only take this facebook application today i have given this mail uh, mobile number see double nine one two four nine four seven three five this is my mobile number so i have given this mobile number okay today i have given this mobile number so tomorrow i have to update my new number new mobile number okay tomorrow i have to update my new mobile number okay we should validate existing data means old number so today i have updated my new mobile number like here 735 then today i have updated this 736 this is a new number of my facebook account creation okay so 
we should validate existing data completely replaced or there should be a modification so so here uh, previously what i have entered in the last three digits 736 so previously i have entered 735 right so now updating mobile number is 736 so there is a modification right completely it is not modif uh, completely it will not change it only there will be a modification so here see the mobile number where it is see the previous mobile number is last three digits is 735 but now i entered 736 okay the uh, i i want to update my new mobile number okay 736 so so here another another new updation mobile table is created column is created okay new mobile number new mobile number so yes see here okay so we should validate existing data completely replaced or modified with new data okay we have to we have to validate okay so there is a slight change only now nah? here the five is uh, here previously i have given five now i have updated it to six so this is called a modification okay this is a, this is called modification so we have to test whether it is completely replaced or modified so what is completely replaced completely replaced means i have given the new number completely is changed like see here i have entering the uh, some of the so this is my mobile number okay it is completely changed now so we have to test and write a document so it is modified or it is completely changed so we have to test so this is called modified okay same the mobile number is there but there is a slight change here the 5 is there here the 6 is there so this is called modification but coming to this mobile number it is completely replaced okay so validating the existing data modify modification so we should validate existing data completely replaced or modified with new data so this is called data integrated testing so what uh, what we have to do in the data integration integrated testing we have to validate existing data completely whether it is completely replaced or whether it is completely modified only modified okay so we have to test whether it is replaced or modified that is called data integrated testing okay next come to data volume testing okay eighth type of functional system testing is data volume testing so what is mean by data volume testing testing the capacity of the database okay testing the capacity of the database so what is meant by capacity capacity means size or storage okay we can say two names capacity means size or storage okay so example whether as per the requirement okay as per the client requirement 100 100 members data has to be stored okay so as per facebook client requirement 100 members data has to be stored okay so we have to test that can test that 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 software application can able to store 100 members data or not so we have to test okay this backend uh, backend data it will be stored now backend the data will be uh, will be stored in the table format now so this backend data whether it is store 100 members or not means 100 100 rows see here the first name uh, first person is sign up with the facebook is jvn next person is sign up with the facebook is banu okay next person will sign up the facebook with pavan okay like that i'm i'm saying uh, taking the sample names okay next person is ashish okay like this like this 
the hundred persons whether it will be store or not we have to check that type of testing is called data volume testing okay understand guys whether as per the requirement so i am saying the example only 100 members i have taken the example but in real time it will be more thousands or lakhs okay it will be in thousands lakhs millions okay i have taken an example only 100 members but in the real time so facebook for every person there will be a facebook right so for every person data the facebook owner will be uh, visible the data like username password surname date of birth gender what we have selected what we have given the data that all data it will be stored in the back end okay so coming to data volume testing checking the capacity of the database means storage capacity means storage whether as per the requirement 100 members of data as to be stored or not in the software application we have to check or we have to test whether the 100 members can able to store the data or not okay that type of testing is called data volume testing okay understand guys what uh, guys what is the difference between database testing data validation data integrity and data volume testing coming to database testing we have to uh, we have to collect the data collect the data okay when we are entering this sign up name first name uh, mobile number this all data whether it's collecting or not back end whether back end whether it's collecting or not that uh, we have to test that is called database testing okay coming to data validation testing whether the inserted data new inserted data is correct or not in the table format it uh, the back end data will be stored in the table format so we have to validate whether it's storing in the table format or not so we have to validate so that type of testing is called data validation testing okay next coming to data integration testing what is data integration testing validating the existing data modification means we should validate existing data completely replaced or modified with new data or not so whenever i have given the example today i have today i have i have signed up with the, i have signed up the facebook with my mobile number so tomorrow i have to update i have to update the new mobile number so whenever we are updating uh, so we should validate existing data completely replaced or existing data com uh, it should modified with the new data or not we have to validate so that type of testing is called data integrity testing coming to data volume testing what is data volume testing testing the capacity of the database what is meant by capacity capacity means size or storage okay so as per the requirement whether they, they whether the members whether it is 100 members or 1000 members whether it is lakhs 1 lakh members has to be stored in the software application uh, in the back end so we have to test can able to store the data of 100 members or not or 1000 members or not so we have to test whether the the back end data can able to store or not we have to test so that type of testing is called data volume testing okay these are the four types of functional system testing okay so this is a, a class guys manual testing day 15 theory session hope you like this video please subscribe to youtube channel and share to your friends thank you